Item number, SCP-269, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-269 is stored in a standard Safe Class Secure Locker at Site-19. Experimentation with SCP-269 may only be performed on Class D personnel, and only with prior approval from at least two Level 3 senior researchers. Description. SCP-269 is an unmarked bracelet composed of red jade, approximately 11 centimeters in diameter in its inactive state. SCP-269 exhibits unusual resilience, as all attempts at obtaining a sample have failed to date, as well as constantly maintaining a temperature of approximately 36 degrees Celsius, regardless of ambient room temperature. When placed on the wrist or ankle of a living human subject, SCP-269 contracts to fit tightly but comfortably over the extremity. Over the next 24 hours, SCP-269 extends flexible tendrils that integrate with its host's circulatory system through the ulnar and radial arteries, a process described by test subjects as being painless but mildly uncomfortable. Upon completion of this process, SCP-269 cannot be removed from its host without amputating the affected hand or foot. Once SCP-269 is fully integrated, it will begin to filter substances from its host's bloodstream. How this is done is not fully understood, but the process occurs over three stages. In the first stage, SCP-269 will begin to filter contaminants and infectious agents, such as bloodborne bacteria and viruses. This includes many disease agents that are currently incurable such as the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. SCP-269 appears to be capable of identifying and isolating infected blood cells from healthy ones. As this process often results in a general improvement in the health of the host, the host may resist attempts to have SCP-269 removed. This stage typically lasts anywhere from one week to one month. In the second stage, SCP-269 will begin filtering components of the host's immune system from the bloodstream. Because SCP-269 continues to filter infectious agents from the host's body, this generally goes unnoticed, unless a blood analysis is performed. Stage 2 lasts anywhere from one month to six months. In the final stage, SCP-269 will begin to filter vital blood components such as red blood cells and platelets, causing an onset of acute anemia and thrombocytopenia. Hosts that reach stage 3 quickly weaken and will invariably expire within one week unless massive blood transfusions are given. SCP-269 came to the Foundation's attention following reports that a civilian, one Mr. had been cured of acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS, and died shortly thereafter. SCP-269 was discovered attached to Mr. Wynn's wrist and was secured by Foundation agents after it was found that SCP-269 had integrated into his circulatory system. Investigation into the precise function and origin of SCP-269 is ongoing. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-268, Cap of Neglect right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.